On today's episode of Glow Trotting with Trey, explore inside this building, the Lyric Theater in Tupelo, Mississippi, where Elvis was sneak into as a kid. Stay tuned. So here I am in Tupelo, Mississippi at the Lyric Theater. Thank goodness it is still here for us to enjoy. So when you come to visit Tupelo, you have to visit here because inside this building is where Elvis in the 1940s, when he was a kid here in Tupelo, he and his buddies would go to movies here. He loved to watch westerns here, as I've learned from one of his friends, Sam Bell. But Elvis and Sam and his friends would sneak into the Lyric. And, uh, well, I'm going to let Sam tell the story here in a minute. But here is a plaque out front of the Lyric Theater. It says, Elvis enjoyed going to the movies, especially westerns, at the Lyric. Friends recall how Elvis would climb over the divider in the balcony, sit among his African-American friends. The sweetest of the legends associated with this theater is that Elvis stole his first kiss in the balcony. So that means i got to go to the balcony. So here's a picture of the Lyric Theater. I believe this is a very early picture in the history of this building. The building was built in 1912 and opened in 1912, and it was a building for shows, for theater performances. And it was just a very popular place, of course, here in Tupelo. So I believe this picture would have probably been in maybe the early 20s, perhaps before the 20s. So here's another picture of the Lyric that I found online, and you can see the Lyric sign out front of the building in this photo. So I believe this photo is the early 30s. So closer to the time that Elvis would enter into the world and to the time that Elvis would eventually go inside and enjoy this theater. Now, the movie theater, like I said, was built in 1912, and it was for theater performances up until the 30s. In the 30s, it became a movie theater. Elvis Presley would have known the lyric as a movie theater, a place where he enjoyed westerns, as the plaque said. This picture will just give you an idea of what it would have perhaps been like when Elvis was here at the lyric. Here is the lobby area. Of course, it's been remodeled and fixed up. I believe the Lyric was going to be demolished in 1984, but a few people in Tupelo were smart enough to know that they needed to save this history for us years later to enjoy. So thank you to those people. But yeah, this is inside the lobby area. So this is where Elvis would have entered when he snuck into the theater. And he would have gone through that door right there. So here's inside the theater here at the Lyric. There was a uh, show going on the afternoon that I walked inside. I do not have a clue what the show was. It was, it was something else, let me tell you. I'll play you a little bit of it here in a second. But this is inside the Lyric. Perhaps Elvis would, and then would sit back here in the back every now and then and watch uh, the show. But yeah, the balcony's up above us, as you can see right here in this shot. But this is a nice... Theater is bigger than you would think inside, but this is the old historic theater here in Tupelo. It's a place you need to visit if you're in town visiting Elvis's spots because we can put Elvis here many times as a kid. So now let's enjoy a little of the show. So now I'm about to play you some footage. Yeah, this was a crazy show, let me tell you. But now I'm about to play you some footage of Sam Bell. Sam was a childhood friend of Elvis, and well, he's going to tell you what it was like being in this theater with Elvis Presley. And we stopping in and get, this, get that penny candy, and then we going down to the Lyric Theater. And uh, there we had our fun at that theater. It's still there on Broadway. And you only had a white section and a black section. And uh, my brother was, uh, he was, when he was in high school, he, he did, that's the work he had after school. He cleaned that theater. 
So the man that uh, owned the theater, they got to be real close. But um, we thought we were sneaking in. He'd go on the white side, and I'd go on the black side. And uh, we, the blacks were going to sit upstairs. And um, they had a petition up there. The whites sat over there too, but the blacks had a section too, but they just had a petition. You could step over it. And uh, I'd sneak in, we sneak in on the black side. He, he thought he was sneaking in on the white side. We thought, we all thought we were sneaking in, but he knew what we were doing. And then as soon as we get up there, he'd come on over and climb on over. And we'd sit in the aisle and watch all the movies and westerns and all that. And he, you know, he'd look out through there with a projector coming out. He'd see us sitting down there. But we thought we was getting away with something. Because we, we'd buy some 10 cent popcorn and we thought, thought we had a fair. I thought when nobody looking, we'd duck on in. So one day he told us, he said, uh, Y'all, you know what, y'all thought y'all were really getting away with something. He said, but I knew what you were doing. He said, loaned you didn't occupy a seat, it was all right. <laughs> so <laughs> he let us stay there. We sit in the aisle and watch all those movies. So here's the balcony that Sam said that Elvis would sneak over the divider, which would have been right here in the middle where we're looking at. And he would have sat right here in front of us where I'm standing, where the colored section was where Sam would be. So Elvis didn't sit with the white section. He sat in the black section because he wanted to be with his friend Sam. And uh, they'd sat on the uh, aisles when they got caught. But they enjoyed westerns, maybe the coat of the West. It played in 1947 when I think that Sam and Elvis would have been going to the theater here. He probably would have seen John Wayne in this movie or Trail Street here or Randolph Scott. I mean, can you imagine The Fugitive? He probably would have saw Henry Funda in The Fugitive right here in the Lyric Theater. So now let's explore the balcony. This hallway right here where I'm showing you, where we're walking toward, this is how Sam and other black people would have entered into the Lyric Theater back in the day. This was their entrance from the streets. They'd gone up these stairs. Sam said he'd sneak uh, past one lady. You just had to get past one lady, and you got into the movie theater. So this is the way Sam would have came in, but now I'm going to show you how Elvis would have snuck in. Elvis would have came up these stairs, turn right here, there's the lobby. This is how Elvis would have snuck into the theater to get to the balcony, and then he'd snuck, sneak over the divider to hang back out with Sam. But yeah, now we're back in the lobby theater. So this is how Elvis got into the lyric. He was a little slick kid. But like Sam said, you only had to pass one lady. I saw that in another interview. You had to pass one lady. Once, get you, once you got past the person at the entrance, you know, you were free. Until you got caught. Here's out front of the lyric again. Check out this old statue across the street. I'm sure Elvis would have seen that. Uh, it definitely had, a, had to be here when Elvis was in Tupelo, Mississippi. That's the courthouse, I believe, across the street. But yeah, this is Tupelo. These old buildings would have been here. So maybe this will give you a better understanding of how Elvis and Sam would have traveled to the lyric when they uh, hung out together. Right here is 1010 North Green where I have circled at at the top left screen. That's where Elvis and Sam lived at in Tupelo, Mississippi in 1947, 1948 before Elvis left Memphis. This is the last place Elvis lived at in Tupelo. So that is where they lived and now that where I have circled is the Lyric Theater. So now you get a sense of how Elvis would have probably, he and Sam just ridden their bikes down this street, turn left, going right up to 1010 North Green Street course I'm sure that they probably cut through uh, yards and had hills that they enjoyed traveling over and just being kids but yeah this gives you a little idea of how Elvis and Sam would have got to the lyric on Saturday mornings Saturday afternoons this was Elvis's Tupelo Mississippi once upon a time in his life next time you're in Tupelo make sure you visit the lyric on Broadway and see where Elvis snuck into the theater Thanks for watching this episode of Glow Trotting with Trey. Don't double dribble. Subscribe. It's free. You stay updated with every new video that I upload, which is once every Tuesday, and special ones here and there. Please like this video if you like it, share it, and until next time, I'll see you down the road. Thanks for watching.